the rate of inflation is usually calculated on an annual basis. Now, one way of doing it is to compare the consumer price indices for one particular month from one year to the next. Well, say you wanted to calculate the rate of inflation between December 2006 and December 2007. From the CPI, we get the following figures. The CPI in December 2006 was 137.8, and in December 2007, it was 150.2. So, to calculate the rate, subtract the December 2006 figure from the December 2007 figure and divide that total by the December 2006 figure. Multiplying the result by 100 gives us the month-on-month -month inflation rate. For December 2007, it was 8.9%. You can also calculate the inflation rate comparing the average indices for the whole year with a previous year. This method is more accurate. It measures the average inflation rate over a period of time, and this eliminates any short-term unusual fluctuations in price. December, for example, is not typical of the whole year. The Christmas period distorts our normal shopping habits, and it doesn't reflect our normal consumption. Here we have the consumer price index and the yearly inflation rate for the period 1998 to 2007. Note that the base year was the year 2000, and that the price index for that base year is 100. Now, the rate of inflation for the year 2007 is calculated as follows. The CPI for 2007 minus the index for 2006, then dividing by the earlier year, gives us 0.071. Multiply by 100, and we get 7.1%. But, and here's an interesting question, does the inflation rate, as measured by the CPI, correctly reflect your personal inflation rate, based on the specific goods that you regularly consume? Well, that depends on your market basket of goods. If it's the same as that of the CPI, it is a true reflection of your inflation rate. If, for instance, you do not spend any money on housing, then it's not a true reflection of your inflation rate it might either overstate or understate your inflation rate.